Hello my friends and welcome back to my F1 22 Endurance Challenge where I increase the AI difficulty by 1% with each race. Contrary to what I said at the end of the last episode, we are not in France. We are today at the eastern part of the Alps in the center of Austria in Spielberg at the Red Bull Ring. And as you can already see my recording of the qualifying session is choppy and this is because of a wrong setting in my recording software which I realized way too late and it only occurs in rain. So for this episode I will skip all the qualifying sessions because this is a nightmare to watch. Instead I will show you the result of the last qualifying. As you can see of course I'm on pole for the sprint race ahead of George Russell and Sergio Perez. Our teammate will start on P17 and let's jump straight into the sprint race. As always, you can find my settings in the descriptions down below. If you want to copy it, just check out the descriptions and I will drive on the medium tires. I realized too late that it might have been better to drive on the soft tires, but it is as it is. And as you can see, I'm already losing positions at the start once again, as always. This seems to be a tradition by now, but it's not much of a problem. There we go. I did overtake Paris already. Who does fight to get his position back, it is quite amazing how fast the AI is on the straights. No matter how low the AI difficulty is, they are always fast on the straights, but they slow down in the corners tremendously. And here we go, I'm getting closer to Wasa. And there's my first position again and now it's time to get some decent laps together and to lap as many people as possible which is quite a difficult task because I only have 12 laps. And here we are at the beginning of the 12th lap I finally managed to get close to the back markers and this is a lot of traffic here. And I have no idea why Alonso is so slow because he did start on P7 I believe or P8. I'm going extremely wide here. And Gasly is having a bit of an engine failure. At first I thought he wanted to let me pass him but nope the engine blew up. This battle isn't much of a problem. And will I be able to lap Bottas? Nope, I'm not. So that's eight lap drivers during the sprint race and for whatever reason I'm the driver of the day. I have no idea why, but yeah, I'm happy with that. No Our teammate there, ended up on P18. Alright. So let's but check out the starting quit for the race on the Sunday. And starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Perez, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Verstappen, Norris, Ricardo, Ocon, and Kevin Magnussen, Bottas, Vettel, Mick Schumacher, and Joe, Fernando Alonso, Stroll, Yuki Tsunoda, and Alex Albon. Leclerc and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot. 
Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. I'm using the same car setup again and I will, as always, start on the hard tires and switch to the medium tires at around lap 20. And here we are. How many positions will I lose? That's three, that's four positions, oh my god. And it's kind of cool that Leclerc had to start from P19. So let's wait for the Drivers' Championship. I don't know how many points he will be able to get during this race, but I do have my doubts that he will end up on the podium. So we should be closer to Ferrari in the Constructors' Championship after this race. Bit of a fight here with Paris again. Russell on the other hand is not much of a problem. And here we are back on P1 on our hard tire compound. And now let's get some decent laps together. During lap then I managed to get close to Sunoda, who's the first car to be lapped. And a couple of corners later, I lap my teammate. Shoemaker is not much of a problem. And there's Show, who already moved to the left to let me pass, but, but this is kind of a hard task if you don't slow down, my mate. Little driving left and right, trying to let me pass as easily as possible. And here we are, there's Leclerc, he's on P13 already, not bad. And I'm afraid he will overtake Alonso in a couple of corners, so he will definitely end up in the points. Ocon is my next victim. And there's Ricardo. We didn't have to retire yet. The engine seems to hold. And ahead of Ricardo is Norris. And Hamilton is fighting with science, and it's quite insane how powerful the Mercedes are at this track. Russell is still leading the pack of the remaining drivers. And here we are, lapping Russell. And with lapping Russell, I lapped the whole field once. Maybe write down in the descriptions down below how many drivers do you think I will lap during this race. My target is always lapping everyone twice. So that's 38 lapped drivers. And the first one being lapped twice is Yuki Tsunoda during his pit stop. So you didn't see him. There was only a blue dot on the minimap. 
Albon is on P19, getting left another time. And there's Lance Stroll. Also, my team wants me to pit already. And I decided to drive another lap in order to slow down all the drivers that are ahead of our teammate. Maybe this can help him to gain a position or maybe even two of them. And here we are. It is time to switch to the medium tires. And every single driver that I lapped a second time lapped themselves back. Up to speed now, let's get some heat into those tires. So Sonoda is once again my first victim. Alban still on P19, but he is a bit closer to Stroll. And if I lap Stroll on the straight, he might slow down, which will definitely help Album to get even closer. Let's see. Unfortunately for Gasly, he had to slow down and he was so close to make kind of feel sorry for him. Bottas is having a fight with Fedder here, which is quite surprising because usually Bottas is fighting with Magnussen all the time. In all the previous races he was fighting with Magnussen. Who is getting lapped here? Or well, maybe he isn't because he did not let me pass him. He was touching my left back tire, which rendered me unable to steer right. So I had to leave the track and Magnus and spun. So I would say that's definitely his fault. And he certainly lost some positions here because of that. Well, that's karma. Russell lost his second position to Verstappen, who is having a little bit of a home Grand Prix here. Well, not Verstappen himself, but his team, the Red Bull team, driving at home in Austria. And there's Yuki again, getting lapped a third time. And Yuki is on P19, for whatever reason. There's Stroll having an engine problem. It's the same position where Gasly's engine exploded during the sprint race. And unfortunately I did hit my teammate. I kissed his back, which wasn't on purpose of course. And here we are, Magnussen on P16. I believe he was P11 before we had that incident where we left the track. But yeah, I still believe it was definitely his fault. He should have let me pass him and nothing would have happened. Just as his teammate Mick just did. And yeah, we are already in the last lap. I don't believe I can lap the two Alfa Romeo ahead of me. So that's 44 lapped drivers. 
which is better than I expected. And you also see it, I'm totally overwhelmed on the podium. And here we are, Max Verstappen finished second, was it being third in our teammate, ended up on P17. And the one who had to retire was Charles Leclerc, which is amazingly good for us, considering that Ferrari is ahead in the Constructors' Championship. But first of all, let's check out the highlights. There's my horrible start. Oh my god. I still don't understand what I'm doing wrong at the start. Please leave some hints in the descriptions down below. If you know what I'm doing wrong, just write it down there. So the only highlights we were allowed to see was the whole first map and <laughs> the last corner of the race. Alrighty, here we are at driver standing and Ferrari lost two places. They are not first anymore but Red Bull did make four more points than we did and even Mercedes can keep up with us. So I believe this will be very very close throughout the whole season and I'm really looking forward to the next races to see how the Constructors Championship progresses. However this was the Austrian Grand Prix, the next race will take place in France, this time it's really France and I will see you in Le Castellet. If you like this video please press the thumb up button, don't forget to subscribe, until then be well and take care, bye bye.